diagnosing cranial patterns. In this video, we're going to look at the mechanics of the cranial bones, more specifically of the sphenoid and the occiput, and look at the different axes and planes of rotation, both in physiologic and non-physiologic strain patterns. To get the most out of this video, I would suggest that you have done the required reading and have looked over the PowerPoint and have the PowerPoint presentation handy as we go through this. First, just a quick reminder of flexion and extension. As we look at flexion and extension, we know that flexion and extension um, refers to what is happen happening at the SBS right here, also called the sphenobasilar synchondrosis. So that's the base of the sphenoid and the base of the occiput. Flexion and extension occurs around two transverse axes, one through each of these bones. And with flexion, as the SBS rises, and extension, as the SBS falls, you can see that these bones rotate in opposite ways around their respective transverse axes. So in the next video, we'll introduce physiologic strains.